what you're about to hear is, um, I think it's the Democratic Committee, National Committee Leader, whatever, whatever he does, I don't know, he's a jerk off joke, but he, his name is, his name is Adam Schiff, and, um, let's just listen to what this guy has to say. We had votes today to politicize the intelligence process. Uh, to prohibit the FBI and the Department of Justice from expressing their concerns to our committee. What FBI? I mean, you're talking about the crooked FBI and the totally crooked CIA that has put out all kinds of false and biased uh, information on Donald Trump. And to the House, uh, and to selectively release to the public only the majority's distorted memo without the full facts. What about all your fake facts that you guys put out in the past 12 months about the fake rest of story, but we're not going to talk about none of that, are we? Um, a very sad day, I think, uh, in the history of this committee. As I said to my committee colleagues during this hearing, sadly, we can fully expect that the President of the United States will not put the national interest uh, over his own personal interest. How can the Democratic Party talk about Trump putting stuff past his personal interests when that's all that the Democratic Party is there for? But it is a sad day indeed when that is also true of our own committee because today this committee voted to put the president's personal interest, perhaps their own political interest above the national interest uh, in denying themselves even the ability to hear from the department and the FBI. Um, and that is, I think, a deeply regrettable state of affairs. It definitely is a sad state of affairs when you have Adam Schiff, the leader of the Democratic National Committee, I believe. No, I don't know. I don't know what he does. I think he's a senator, Adam Schiff. Yeah, he's a senator. He's a stupid Democrat senator. But it's kind of funny how they can put this all together and put it all on Trump and say that it's his, uh, it's against his best interest to put this out when they created the fake Russia story. And uh, now that it's all coming to light, they're going to cry about what the president wants to do. He wants to be, to be transparent. He wants us to know everything good, bad, and the ugly. That's the thing about the Democratic Party. They want to tell you what you want to hear. But the Republicans is like your, your strict father or your strict mother. You know, you're going to hate them because they're not going to let you go outside whenever you want to. They're not going to let you have that piece of candy when you're not supposed to have it. Uh, and you're going to talk shit about them and you're going to say bad things about them. The Republican Party is going to tell you what you don't want to hear. The Democratic Party is going to tell you what you do want to hear. You know, you're going to win. It's plain and simple. You're going to win elections if you can take, make an argument of taking this rich person's money and giving it to these couple of other people that have no money that don't work for it. Yeah, you're going to win elections every time when you do things like that. You're going to win them flat out. But it never amounts for nothing because you've got these people over here that are, they got the money. And you got these people over here that don't work and don't do anything. And then you got people like me that maybe work, make a little bit of money. And I'm going to see these people. Why am I going to make all this, you know, work my ass off when these people over here don't do nothing. And they're just taking from the rich. But the rich people is going to say, well, fuck, I'm not even going to do this either. I'm not going to start making no money. And you know what happens? The money goes down. Nobody starts making money no more. Nobody does this because they all want the handouts. It's just plain and simple. You're going to want your handouts. But if there's no money going into the system, then you're not going to get anything back. And it's failed every time, and it will fail every time. Socialism will fail every single time. Thank you, Adam Schiff, for proving that this is all just another big hoax, and we can get over it. I've, told, I've been telling everybody in February it's going to be over, and it's going to be over in February, I believe so. So everybody out there that uh, is trying to bear with us and them and want this Russia shit over with, February, it'll be no more. If you like this video, I'm trying to make better videos, trying to do a lot more things. I'm gonna try to add more videos 
as the days go by, maybe a couple videos a day, but um, like and subscribe down here, link in the description, go to my, my Facebook channel and uh, subscribe there, everything's down in the description, and um, y'all have a good day.